Yeah, it's good work. Okay, put the ball the other side. So bring the ball this side. Same thing. Drop off on the end. Let's go. Oh, well, it's an embed the pathway evening. It's uh, RFL's uh, and the club's commitment towards um, to rugby league, the community, the players, the coaches, and and supporting uh, the development of uh, of everybody that's involved in rugby league. From a coaching perspective, the bit that I'm I'm really involved in, that I think around about 30, maybe up to 40, there'll be some people who will maybe turn up on uh, on the evening and surprises and. Uh, uh, yeah, just really looking forward to it, to uh, getting a, a little bit of uh, of work, having a look at some of the things that we do and then uh, going out on the field and, and getting people involved. I, I think connecting the, the professional club to um, to everybody that's involved in, in, in rugby league, it's hopefully a little bit of education. It's it's connecting what we do with, with what, what they do and, and recognition that the simple things are, are really important. It's not about... Uh, you, you see some all singing, all dancing things in, in Super League, but there's a way of getting there and, and there's a way that, that young people uh, develop in, in playing the game and learn the, the basic skills of rugby league and it's an understanding that um, everybody still goes through that, that process and there's some of the things that uh, that coaches have learned as they go through their their time in, in rugby league as players and as coaches, as, as professionals, and it's passing that on and just um, providing support to, to people's and continuous development within within what they're doing. Everybody wants to get get better and learn from each other, and you never stop learning. I think that's important. What, whatever level you're at, it's absolutely key that you continually strive to get to get better every week. Okay, start with the tap. Everything else is just it's just that. Okay, and you play on. You don't have to touch the ball with your foot. I think it's important that we keep the community involved because there there are our supporters. They there are future. Players that are part of the club, that are part of the fabric that is Castleford Tigers uh, Rugby League Club, um, and one of the things that I wanted to to do when I first came here was to to really connect the the players, the current ger generation, with with the fans, and I think we've done that really well. And this is uh, an extended part of that. It's it's uh, making people aware that that we're here to provide support. We don't just sit at the top and and don't do anything about it. And I think that's what what the the RFL have done really well in within this program. Partnership with the RFL, they're the governing body, aren't they? And they, they set the framework for, for everything that we, we do in, in, in rugby league. Um, you know, they've done a hell of a lot of good work in, in terms of developing the game, and we're, we're a part of that. Um, so the relationship uh, across all levels of, of rugby league is, is absolutely um, it's super valuable. And you know, the, the more that the game's working together, you know, we're trying to grow as a, as a sport. And, um, Everybody working together is it's absolutely crucial to help us to uh, to thrive. Nice, good stuff. <laughs> Just get fours in there. Make sure we got fours in. Yeah, Saturday's game be a be a tough one. I mean, preparation isn't going. You know, we played yesterday and uh, boys have had a day off, and we've had a tough couple of uh, games uh, over the last uh, of the end of the Easter period, and and then this this third game. Um, in, in Easter is always a tough one and, and we we didn't play to our potential so you know, we've got a bit of work to do. We won't train until Wednesday and then we'll look forward to getting stuck into Wigan but we recognise that we're in the, the middle of a really tough programme at the moment and it's going to be a tough game for us. Really obviously you're delighted that your players are getting noticed for, for England, it's what you it's what you coach for isn't it, to get the very best out of out of people and out of players so so it's fantastic that, that they're involved. Um, at the same time, pretty tough for us. You know, you lose three high-quality individuals, and and it becomes very difficult. But we've got good depth in our squad. I'm looking for players to step up at the moment. Um, like I say, we've had a couple of tough games, and and we need to get back on track pretty quickly. So before we start looking at, at when players are going to be going to England, we need to get this Wigan job done on Saturday.